Also melting away are the glaciers in the region. The storehouses of fresh water, these glaciers contain within themselves the livelihoods of all the farmers in the region. Warmer winters have allowed the fresh water trapped in these sheets of ice to flow away before farmers can use them in their fields. This river Indus uh, feed the whole civilization of Indus Valley uh, in not only in Ladakh but the whole Pakistan uh, livelihood and people are completely depend on this river. Discharge has not increased and this is the peak uh, summer season. Discharge is very very low, low. and the government of India has uh, made a uh, canal that is called Igufe Canal to irrigate the, all this uh, barren land through this river Indus. Now those, that uh, canal has been abandoned because there is no enough water in the in, in this river itself. So that is the condition that uh, earlier it was based on the river, uh, water available in the Indus river that uh, the, such a huge canal was made. Now it is completely abandoned. This is a big, big loss to Ladakh. But often, solutions are not easily found and people find themselves victimized by the altering climate. They've had to helplessly watch as their families, livestock and everything they own was washed away before their eyes.
I've been coming to Ladakh now for more than 30 years, ever since the region was first thrown open to development and to outsiders. And I found originally a culture that was living in balance with the land, using resources very carefully. The glaciers are melting, they are visibly shrinking, and there is less groundwater, there is less meltwater. There have also been storms such as we've never seen here before, and storms that have led to floods that have carried away villages and bridges. All of these are very alarming signs of the impact of global warming. The people in the urban town of Leh also have their own story to tell. Different from their rural counterparts, these people have been beating the heat with tropical lifestyles. Even those without voices have been crying out. Rare migratory birds and even rarer mammals have altered their patterns of behavior and movement to deal with change. We are doing an extensive research on the movement pattern and the posture management in Changtang region. We have found that at many places, the movement pattern to various posture areas has advanced. It is only because of the uh, advance in the uh, summer season. Earlier they used to go in June, now they are going in May. This kind of pattern you have seen. So it is because of the climate change. They, uh, there can be no other reason but uh, advancing in the summer season in the Ladakh region, that is uh, because of the climate change and nothing else. WWF has been working in Ladakh to help conserve the uniqueness of this region. Through awareness campaigns, community-based tourism efforts, sustaining livelihoods and wildlife conservation efforts, WWF is working towards conserving Ladakh's unique natural heritage for tomorrow's generation. Climate Witness Project in Ladakh has a special focus to document various changes happening in Ladakh over a period of time. At the same time, we have launched a major awareness campaign among various stakeholders about climate change in Ladakh. We are organizing education and awareness programs for local communities, for local school children, for Indian Army, for indo tibetan border police, even for local tour operators. Because at the end of the day, this climate change is definitely will have its impact on everyone who is living in this region for smaller or for a longer period of time. There are significant changes. It's very difficult to say that they are either local climate change or you can relate it to the global climate change, but certain the changes are there. These voices all tell different stories, but with no one to hear them, they may be lost forever. Thank you.